It's official, Sharon Osbourne is out at the talk. CBS said in a March 26, 2021 statement referencing Osborne's controversial defense of Piers Morgan, Sharon Osborne has decided to leave the talk. The events of the March 10th broadcast were upsetting to everyone involved, including the audience watching at home. As part of our review, we concluded that Sharon's behavior toward her co-host during the March 10th episode did not align with our values for a respectful workplace. We also did not find any evidence that CBS executives orchestrated the discussion or blindsided any of the hosts. The statement continued, At the same time, we acknowledge the network and studio teams, as well as the showrunners, are accountable for what happened during that broadcast, as it was clear the co-hosts were not properly prepared by the staff for a complex and sensitive discussion involving race. During this week's hiatus, we are coordinating workshops, listening sessions, and training about equity, inclusion, and cultural awareness for the hosts, producers, and crew. Going forward, we are identifying plans to enhance the producing staff and producing procedures to better serve the hosts, the production, and ultimately our viewers. The announcement came amid the show's extended hiatus, which will end on April 12, 2021, the release noted. So what's next for Osborne? We can't say for sure, but it is fair to argue her departure was inevitable. Sharon Osbourne's on-air drama with her The Talk co-host Cheryl Underwood in particular was because of her defending Piers Morgan's controversial remarks about Meghan Markle's interview with Oprah Winfrey. Many fans expressed frustration with Osbourne's stance, arguing how her support of Morgan was problematic and racially charged. When Underwood tried to explain the outrage to Osbourne, she dug in her heels and from many viewers' perspectives, made the situation worse. As for Osborne's take on it, she alleged to Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier that she was taken advantage of by CBS producers, claiming they encouraged her co-host to grill her about supporting Morgan. Osborne claimed, noting how she felt unprepared for the discussion, Cheryl turns around and asks me this question, and she was reading it off a card. It wasn't on my cards. And then Elaine Welter asks reading her questions, and I'm like, I've been set up. They're setting me up. My anger was like, I cannot believe this, I'm your sacrificial lamb. Osborne also expressed uncertainty about her role at the talk, stating, I wish we could go on and have an adult conversation calmly and work it out, but I don't know whether we can. I don't know whether it's gone past that. She concluded, I would love to, but I don't know whether I even want to go back. I don't know whether I'm wanted there. Well, it seems Osborne has since made up her mind. Sharon Osbourne's drama with Cheryl Underwood uncovered a racially motivated allegation from another one of her now former co-stars, Holly robinson Pete, who was let go from the CBS talk show after only one season, along with Leah Remini, alleged on Twitter on March 12, 2021, that Osbourne had described her as being, quote, too ghetto before she left the series. She tweeted, Sharon complained that I was too ghetto for the talk, then I was gone. Alongside a photo of her on the set with the original panel, Sarah Gilbert, Julie Chen, Remini, and Osborne. Pete added, referring to Osborne's on-air exchange with Underwood, I bring this up now because I was mortified watching the disrespectful, condescending tone she took with her co-host, who remained calm and respectful because she had to. In response, Osborne claimed she, quote, never had the ability or authority to get anyone fired from the talk on Twitter and vehemently denied the allegations in a second tweet. That read, Never in my life did I utter the words that Holly was too ghetto to be on the talk, as well as not having her fired. Both messages have since been deleted. Sharon Osborne revealed that she had reached out to Cheryl Underwood following their on-air discussion, but claimed that she had not responded. In her March 16, 2021 interview with Entertainment Tonight, the British star admitted she, quote, got too personal with Cheryl and added, I should have never said stop her tears. She was hurting as I was hurting. Osborne professed her love for now former co-star and noted, I've apologized to Cheryl, she's not gotten back, and I can understand, Cheryl needs her time. As for Underwood, she said on her podcast, The World According to Cheryl, that she had been nothing but a, quote, good friend amid the controversy. Underwood claimed, I didn't do anything to anybody, and I was a good friend, no matter what came toward me. I was a good friend. She added, The vibe for me was, this was already forgiven and over as soon as it was said. As soon as the yelling and the screaming happened, it was already forgiven and over. I don't know what's in Sharon's heart. I don't know what she's feeling. The only feelings I can control are my own. It's not clear if the two have spoken since Osborne's departure was announced. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.